So hello guys and welcome back to Piggy's World. Today I am here with Delilah and I'm going to give you guys a couple updates about what happened today with her. So I'm going to, she keeps looking at me, I'm going to get on with the video. So I woke up and I went to go give her her regular meds and she was really out of it. Um, she was all puffed up, like, not even, like, if you know Delilah, she talks a lot. Uh, not even talking, like, not even, like, interacting with you, like, perky and stuff, like, nothing. And, um, it was really concerning, um, but anyways, I gave her her meds and the critical care, and I was, like, snuggling with her, like, all morning. And then it was around, like, 12 30 she was like starting to like push something like like push and i was just like so confused like i like took her out of the cage and she was like peeing but not peeing almost um it was like a weird thing going on and i just took her out of the cage i put her on a fleece and i was like comforting her and then I remembered um, how Skinny Pigs won. They did like a little like warm water bath kind of a thing for her guinea pig when they were trying to push out the stones. So I kind of did the same thing and I like plopped her in like a warm little bucket of water. And for a couple more times, she was like really trying to like push something out and um, really like forcing something. And it was terrible. So before I put her into the soak, um, I looked at her bottom and um, like it literally looked like she was pushing like out the stone. Like I saw the stone kind of like peeking out of her. So then I realized like putting her in the soak is a good thing because maybe it'll help it get out. And like while she was in the soak, like I was on the phone with the vet or technically the receptionist and then she was going back and forth to the vet um but they um were telling me like if she's still in pain like please bring her in and then um they put me on hold to go talk to the vet and then all of a sudden like delilah had like some a really big push and my brother was with me and he was like should we look if that you know she passed it and sure enough um she it like sunk to the bottom of the water while her poops like floated and like it was like an off color so i definitely knew that she definitely passed it so then they took me off a hold and um i then told them that she ended up passing the stone and according to the x-ray she is like a couple more they didn't tell me a number so i have no clue how many are actually in her but there is more to come um, so they told me to pick up an extra, um, pain med for her, um, so we did. So now she's on Meloxicam and then the other pain med, which I don't know the name, so I'll insert that right there. But, um, hopefully it helps. And, like, after she passed the stone, I mean, she's not perfect right now, like, she's still obviously in discomfort and... You know not in a good place right now but she was eating hay and she's now very perky and almost like curious now again which is you know a, a perk i mean she's not eating like a lot of hay um but she was doing a couple nibbles which is a good sign so
so yeah that is basically it for the update video it was honestly a really scary experience and i did not even know what was even happening like i didn't know that like this was the moment that the stone was coming out so yeah it was just not good <laughs> there have definitely been better days for sure but i'm really glad that she's like pushing them out because maybe if she'll push all of them out and then we don't have to go the surgery route is what i'm hoping but she's a little fighter oh, that eats her poop so anyways if you have any more questions please leave them down below i'm curious to what you guys think also please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye